Today, we'll learn how to configure a default route on a switch. Default routes can be statically configured or dynamically generated through dynamic routing protocols. The following describes how to statically configure the default routes. In the routing table, default routes are those routes with destination network 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0, 0 and subnet mask 0.0.0.0. Default routes are easy to use and widely used on networks, especially on egress devices of small and medium enterprise networks. Using default routes can greatly reduce the routing table size and maintenance workload. As shown in the figure on the right, if switch A needs to reach the following three networks, 172.16.1.0, 172.16.2.0, and 172.16.3.0, that are directly connected to switch B, routes are required to support this requirement. If you configure static routes on switch A to meet this requirement, you need to configure three different static routes for three destination networks. This method increases the configuration workload and burden on switch A because switch A needs to maintain more routing entries and the routing table needs to occupy more memory resources. During network design and optimization, you often need to reduce the number of routing entries in the routing table while ensuring network route reachability. In the figure on the right, switch A has only one egress line, and switch B is always the next hop from switch A when switch A needs to connect to an external network. You can configure a default route using switch B as the next hop on switch A. The configuration reduces the number of routing entries while ensuring that there are reachable routes from switch A to the three networks that switch B connects to. After a default route has been configured, switch A forwards packets according to the default route when the destination IP address on the packets does not match any specific route. A default route is easy to configure and requires just one command. IP route static 0.0.0.0 and 172.16.100.2 in this command, both the destination network and mask are 0.0.0.0, and the next hop is 172.16.100.2. Next, you'll see how to configure a default route on a device. You can run the IP route static command to configure a default route. with destination network 0.0.0.0, mask 0.0.0.0, and next hop 172.16.100.2. After a default route has been configured, check the routing table on switch A you'll see that the routing table contains the default route with the destination network we configured. When switch A needs to forward packets and cannot find any specific route that match the destination address on the packets, switch A forwards the packets according to the configured default route. And this is everything regarding the default route configuration. Thanks for listening. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, see the All About Switches threads. Where do you find these threads? Using Google search, type in All About Switches site colon Huawei.com in the search field 
and click any of the displayed links to enter the Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the home page. The All About Switches threads describes typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for listening, and goodbye.